Now, to really understand how important uh, the Kalyana Mitta is in the Buddha's teaching, it's very uh, useful to compare the idea of good uh, friendship to other qualities that the Buddha talked, uh, taught about, uh, talked about. Uh, and you find that in the Anguttara Nikaya, the numerical discourses, uh, in the beginning there, the Buddha talks about certain qualities uh, that are like foundational qualities for the spiritual life. Uh, qualities without which you cannot really even get started on the spiritual path. Uh, and to give you some idea what qualities the Buddha is talking about here, one of them is Appamada which I'm sure many of you already know that word. Apamada is usually translated as heedfulness. And what does heedfulness mean? Heedful, heedfulness means like you are careful, you are circumspect, you are awake, you are aware, you look at things. You don't actually just look at things in a superficial way, but you are careful with how you, what you do things. You don't just go around in the world in a kind of a stupor, intoxicated by all the pleasures of the world, but you're actually careful with how you live your life. You can see why heedfulness is so important. If you are not careful with how you live your life, how on earth are you even going to be able to live a virtuous lifestyle? How are you going to be able to stop yourself from getting angry when you feel like getting angry? How are you going to be able to stop yourself from telling somebody off when you feel like telling them off and it may not be the right time? So heedfulness is obviously a very foundational quality. Without that, there cannot really be any progress at all on the path. Indeed, uh, the very last thing that the Buddha said to his disciple before he passed away was, uh, 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 strive on with heedfulness. In other words, this is like the kind of, almost like a summary of the Buddha's teaching, the idea of striving on with heedfulness.